if you're looking for the easiest way to turn your TikToks and Reels into YouTube short content, you're in the right place. A lot of people's ears perked up when they heard there was another opportunity to get paid from your short form content. So naturally, they took their TikToks and Reels and uploaded them onto the YouTube platform only to find out YouTube's not having it. And it's really left some of us kind of feeling bitter about it. What's the deal? Does anybody know? Yeah, what's the deal? YouTube's really been a tough nut to crack. Are we surprised though? They want original content, not reposted videos that had already been used on another platform. So let me show you how to clean the slate, take all those TikToks and Reels and transform them into original YouTube short content. And then I'm gonna show you an easy way that you can safeguard them so that you can leverage the work that you've already done. That's the whole point of repurposing, right? So let's dive in. Before we can do anything with our Reels and TikToks, we have to be able to retrieve them from their apps. If you made them natively on an app, then we need to start with downloading them without the watermarks. This will require a third-party app and the link to the video depending on which app you're getting your videos from. There are honestly too many options to list them all and some that are for TikTok or Reels only. In addition, there are some for Android and some only for iPhone. So do a search in your app store and you're sure to find lots of options based on your needs. I have a better solution though. If you wanna be able to grab all your video links at one time, you can do so straight from TikTok in just four easy steps. First, go to your settings, then privacy, then you'll see an option to download the data. You wanna click that and that sends a request for the data to be packaged up so you can download it to your computer or your device. And it can take up to four days for you to get that. Once you have that though, all of the links to all of your videos on TikTok will be inside of that file. So it's kind of like doing it all at once. While you're waiting, head over to Google, search for a simple mass loader. We don't endorse any particular option as they all kind of serve different purposes and offer different things. So we just suggest that you find one that you like and that you trust, grab your URLs from the file that you downloaded from your data request and start downloading. But there's a problem and it's kind of a hard problem for most people to see. It's something that's been ignored and hurting thousands of creators. Any shorts that are flagged as reposted content will be suppressed. But how can they do all this? And why are the rules so much stricter over here on YouTube? Well, they kind of have an advantage. Unlike TikTok and Instagram, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. So things like metadata and file names, those are things that YouTube has already set up to scrub through and they're gathering all of that data. They've got quite a sophisticated algorithm and as a result, they can tell if you saved them from another app. But you're probably thinking, how will they know? Nobody's gonna know. How would they know? Because it's not rocket science. We see them all the time, but unfortunately YouTube won't pay on those. Not right now at least. So if your goal is to get paid and grow your audience, then grab a notebook and listen up. The secret is the metadata. Metadata is like secret keys and clues. And thanks to YouTube's sophisticated systems, it can see things that you cannot. Take this video for example. This is what it looked like when I downloaded it so we can verify that there's no watermark. It's just a simple video about my love for Dawn Power Wash and I use the SnapTick app to download it to my iPhone. However, when you're saving videos to your phone, only part of the data is visible to you. In addition, it's a hassle to rename them and even if you do change the file name, you cannot change the metadata. Here's what I mean. I downloaded the same video to my computer and look how much more information is now visible and easily accessible. While I can change the file name more easily here, I still cannot remove the metadata as it shows where I downloaded the video from. In addition, remember that SnapTick app I used? And that would red flag it as a reposted video. So that's not such a good thing, but it's okay, because I got you and we can fix it in five minutes. First, we're gonna upload it into the NVIDIA editor. There are other reasons to leverage all of the resources NVIDIA has to offer, like stock clips, sound effects, scenes, and all of the templates that you can choose from. However, right now we're just covering the metadata issue. So I'm gonna show you what the difference is when you've exported it from NVIDIA. Now we can see what it looks like, and voila, it's clean. Do you remember the where from section that used to be here? It's gone. There's no trace of a source. It's like a new file all over again. And here's a tip, pay attention to your file names as file names with keywords perform better. And why do you think that is? Let's talk about copyright strikes. Copyright strikes are the 
fastest way to losing your channel. So don't risk that. Not all of the music has a copyright to be shared across platforms. So some songs have a license for TikTok to use them and some just for Instagram. And if you've noticed, if you tried to repurpose some of this content, you might've already been on the receiving end of a copyright strike, or you may have just noticed that the music that you used was muted. Well, what's the point if the music was kind of the vibe and what helped you hold attention? In videos completely stocked with professional assets, choose from over 5,000 templates, over 8 million royalty-free stock video and images, and hundreds of thousands of royalty-free music choices and sound effects. And you only need a free account to get started. You can use NVIDIA to help you create videos for all platforms and repurpose your content, especially if you like using the filters or the fun effects. Let me show you. I did this joke sequence with my son on Snapchat. We were able to leverage all of the fun filters from that app and then upload it to the NVIDIA editor, added text and music, and we were also able to add a template at the end to help Mr. Beast clean up our trash from our oceans. Our job is to help you work smarter, not harder. With these few simple steps, your old TikToks and Reels will have a fresh start on the short shelf here on YouTube. So now you're ready to go. But by the way, we would love to see what you're creating and how you're repurposing your content. How are you able to use the NVIDIA editor? Come show off your skills. We'd love to see you inside of our Facebook group. There you'll find over 25,000 members who are all video creators like you. More importantly, that is the best place to ask questions and be able to get feedback. So we hope to see you there. In the meantime, we'd love to know if you got value from this video. This is just one part of a series on YouTube Shorts. If you'd like to see more content, the best way to let us know is to put it in the comments below. And while you're down there, be sure to like and subscribe so that you'll be notified of our next video. And in the meantime, we packaged up the rest of the series into this playlist. I'm Angelique with NVIDIA. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.